Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Who... Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Okay, so why does the THQ logo have to be so loud, by the way? Do they really need to say, Hey, guys, we... They didn't even make the game. They're just the publisher. They don't, they don't even exist anymore. Oh, by the way, this is SpongeBob SquarePants about for beginning bottom. On the Nintendo GameCube because I just recently installed my GC loaded on my old uh, purple GameCube. The one that had like the broken, well, kind of broken disk drive. I, I, I did fix it, but it's not in the best condition. And also, well, that will explain as I go along. So I'm going to go to a new game. I do have a game on it. Yes. There's already one here, but it's not really... It's just a test because I'll explain. Yes, overwrite. There we go. Welcome to the Let's get going with this. A normally peaceful I'll explain as I play it. I also need. Well, you know what? Let's just listen right, right now. Apparently, this game's good. Oh, uh, not plankton. Oh, man, those GameCube graphics. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. Wait, clone robots? You already have a robot? One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one. Is Plankton a genius? Answer yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch. Nice. Very short checklist. Oh, Welcome yeah, there we go. Robots. Robot Hang on. Someone tells me they're not gonna be obedient. I know how these things work. Yeah, there you go. Wow, didn't even take a second. What do you think you're doing? Don't, don't why do you even have that plankton? We're, we're, they're not even attack. Oh, just kick him out. Bye, Plankton. Go, go to the grass. I just, I just like that joke where they, they try. He invites his family over to Another like day go to the Krusty Krabs. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I think mine, Robo Junior, or Zorlon. So I can tell that this is between seasons one and three, I think, when it was made, because, or sometime before the rebooted season four thing. It's not really rebooted. Because I can tell by the voices. It's not just any shell. It's my magic. Or at least they sound closer to those seasons. And you set it to Wumbo. Just gonna make a bunch of SpongeBob references at this point. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning we'll have real robots to play with. Oh well, we know that's gonna happen. Aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So okay, is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnasser, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week I oh, had one big cookie <laughs> no. crumb and I was going to try and do an invitation. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. This is before the night, song. Patrick. Did this predict best day ever? Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Whoa! Is this bed supposed to be higher up? Oh, damn. Oh, Gary, did you do that? Your bikini bottom stinks. 
Hey. Don't say that about me. Yeah, All right. Gary. That might it be true. Sure looks like we're in a like my socks are over I think I'm going to have to learn a okay, lot there we in go. order to fix this mess. All right, then. What are we going to do? Fix this mess. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Meow. What a fantastic idea. These signs will provide important tips to help me out. How hard can this game be? And that a few hours later. Um, how do I read the signs? I don't know. Do you know how to read? R? This really? Hmm. Okay. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. R? I get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. You can tell that this is port to multiple systems since they, didn't, they didn't say like the R. They were they would have to say like the uh, R1 or R2. Explore the rest of SpongeBob's house. Yeah. Nice. Everywhere. Oh my god. Hey, look. The shiny spatula. Oh, the, the music suddenly got loud. Hello. Wow. Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Press this button to read the sign. I know. Alright. Sign. Wow. What do you... I read the sign! Give me some credit. It's because... There wow. we go. Give Why does it keep going to Gary, for Christ's sake? I'm trying to get to the... Press the R button to talk. I know. Okay, whatever. Let's go somewhere else, maybe. To get away. There we go. These are shiny objects. Shiny objects are very valuable and may be traded to help SpongeBob along his quest. SpongeBob will need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete his quest and to defeat the robot menace. There are five different color of shiny objects: red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red is the most common and the least valuable. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. The more valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find or are in more dangerous places. Yeah, rare like certain games. It's shiny. Yeah, there are a lot of shiny objects here. There's way too many shiny objects here. Ahoy there, oh, damn it! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er, promoted to head shiny object collector. That sounds nothing like Mr. Krabs. Wow! A promotion! That's right, a promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind. That sounds nothing like Mr. Me. Krabs. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. That's not enough. Uh, why did it just... What's the whole point of the R thing if I just approached... Okay, there. Now it says... Can I open the fridge? No. R. Controls the camera. Blah, blah, blah. I know how to do that, okay? Yes, okay. Yeah. I don't think I need to read that. I know how the C button works. So yeah, I'm playing this on my GameCube. Like I said, and I installed the GC loader on my old one. Because, you know... Turning everything now into... Not needing physical formats at this rate. I'll go on top of the toilet though. Who's on the picture? That Spongebob? Uh, oh yeah! Oh, he has a double jump! Nice. Nice. Wait. What's this? His face. That is weird. Uh, so yeah, and also, I don't need memory cards because I also... There's the SD to... Um... Oh, really? It's like this. It's like Mario. Maybe a little bounce on the old set. <sighs> I jump, may jump by pressing the A button, pressing the A button, this is a jump, jump, double jump to get to yeah. yeah. One double jump per thing, yes, I know how it works. Boingy boing! It's a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches a dangerous object on the surface, like this. Ow! When SpongeBob has lost all his underwear, he must start that area over again. SpongeBob may get back underwear he has by lost by collecting additional pairs of blah 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 blah. It's basically pairs of gold underwear handed to became bomb, which found will allow SpongeBob to take more than three pairs at a time, so we can check how many pairs of underwear he has if I just press the Z button. Alright, cool. Yeah! Whoa. Like a new Sexy. Now, how do you open this chest thing? Can you do a ground pound? A butt smash? What the? Well... Here's... The way this picture get taken. Barnacle... <laughs> Wait, no. Um... Barnacle man and... Barnacle boy and... What is... Wait, why did I forget his name? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can't go in here. So yeah, also, uh, there's the SD2... Um... Um... 
SP2, which is basically some SD to serial port 2. And I, I soldered the thing myself on a really tiny board. Of course, I didn't make the board because it's, that's impossible for me to do. So now I can technically create virtual memory cards that have pretty much unlimited space. Press the B button, Spongebob will do a bubble spin. Run raise the bubble spin, smash open the tiki's. Nice. Push buttons on walls or different most Push buttons on walls or defeat most robots. Everybody else, so bubble spin and mid jump things that are higher up. All right, cool. Right. Nice. Push, 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 push. This is a simple game, isn't it? Wait, well, anyways, yeah, so I'm playing Divinity Original Sin 2 and SMT on the SNES, and uh, I need a game like this to just kind of take a break from them sometimes. And this has been on my radar for a little bit. I'm pretty sure someone's going to enjoy watching me play this. Press the X and the middle, and Sponge will do a double bounce attack. Well, those can smash tickets that are directly below. Sp ah, okay, there we go. That takes a while to do, actually. Boing. Whoa. Huh. Butt smash. Well, it's not really a butt smash. It's a flipper smash or something. Press the Y button on the ground, and Spongebob will do a bubble bash attack. Bubble bash attack and smash tiki's. Or robots push buttons, or robots or push buttons that are directly above oh, Wait, what? You see this icon, Spongebob can't stand. Okay, that's how you do a bubble. So you have to see this icon and... Oh, I see. It's a ball. I guess it's like boingy, boingy, boingy. How is Spongebob doing in each level of the game? Pressing right and left will give Spongebob a hint on each golden special that Spongebob knows about. I press the A button when the hint for the blah, blah, blah. Take a text directly to the area that, that special for anywhere in the game. Why would I want to do that? I don't get that, actually. Okay, what's the point of this ball, by the way? That one I'm not sure. Now, if I want to get higher up here... What is the point of this ball? Because, see, I thought I could, like, go on it and roll, but... Uh, maybe I can smash this tiki? There we go. That's how you smash a tiki. Okay, ball. I'm, oh, wait, look at this. Okay. It's Patrick Socks. I got no gold spatulas. Ugh. Get ball here. Ball. Listen, ball. Stop, ball. God damn it. Are you serious? This thing just has a mind of its own. Maybe use that we might be able to control it better than try and push it. Or maybe not. I have no idea. I just want to get to that thing. That's all it is. How am I having so much trouble trying to get there? Stop! Ball! It's like it's it's like there's something keeping it from going here. There we go. Are you timing me? <gasps> How do I get there? Ugh! Ball! No! Hold on. Let's go up here and look quickly. Damn it! What's the easiest way to get up here? Would it be this? Because the ball doesn't make any sense, truthfully. Let's push, try this again. Push, push. Uh, maybe? No, it's not! What is the easiest way? I don't like the camera here as much, though, because I can't really... See? There's a green one up there. I don't know how to get that. Because I have a lot of trouble with this ball. I'm just trying to get it to go where I want it to. Look, it, look at this, it just bounces everywhere. It really doesn't want to go where I want it to. Oh my god, really? Stop moving, for Christ's sake. Oh, there we go. So that's the possibility then. I would have to come up here, but again, trying to get the ball to listen to me sometimes is not very good. 
Oh uh, no! I he didn't grab on grab on it though. It's like very selective of how he grabs on. Okay. Now I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm not gonna bounce that ball up all the way here. It's bizarre. I don't even know. Wait a minute. I'm dumb, aren't I? I'm very dumb, I think. You idiot. I know how to do this, actually. Of course, the ball's stuck. Apparently. Oh my god, the ball's stuck. I can't get it out. She really gets stuck in here? It literally won't leave. I figured out what to do now, because I finally realized, and now I can't even get the ball out. But I absolutely need a ball. Look, it's stuck. It can't leave. It literally won't get out of here. It's forever stuck in here. I can't get Patrick's sock now. I can't reach it. I'd have to get creative with like the sign or something. Wow, barely would reach it. I'm, I'm obsessing over this place and I shouldn't be. Damn it, man! Stupid ball. I'm sick of this. Let me see what happens if I leave. Can I get this chest? No, we can't do anything apparently. So if I go back in, is the ball still stuck? Indeed it is. It's never getting out now. I can't ever get that sock. It just annoys me that... Can I put it down? No. You can't reset this thing. After I realize what I'm supposed to do. I think. I, I, look, it, it's just... It won't get out. How does it get stuck? It rolled here on its own. Well, not really. It bounced up on the stairs and then it landed. You know what? It's done. I can't do it now. <laughs> I actually can't do it. That's how I would get up, you moron. You stupid idiot. I'm pissed off now. I'm very, very it pissed shines. off. I should have realized what to do. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I will redo this. I think I'll redo this. Can you leave the game? Ah, uh, okay, you know what? I'll meet you back here. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! Oh, well, that's new. I figured I might as well show you this before I continue on to my journey. For unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble! Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble! We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds! Sure. Alright, back to what I was doing. Okay, we're back to this point now. So one, let's get on here. Well, that's actually not the good way to do it. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's do this one first before I mess it up again. Now I know what to do. Okay. It showed me the bouncy thing, but I wasn't paying attention to where it hit the camera turn. I don't know why. Okay, look. Ah, shit! Of course, apparently I still can't do it. Because it's apparently still hard. I like how they tell oh, I press R to read signs, but the signs pretty much happen right away. Like, I don't even have a chance to read half the time. That was actually kind of hard, tough, that platforming. Oh, God, this ball is annoying me. Ball, stop. I don't understand its physics at all. All right, let's do this again. Bruh. Bruh, how am I having so much trouble with this freaking thing? Bruh. Okay, what the hell, man? Apparently I still can't do this. 
Well, I might as well wait for the timer to run out now. Come on. Of course, then the ball goes away. Can you please? There we go. Alright, bruh. Come on, man. Oh, okay. Very specific how they want you to jump, kind of. And then it pretty much ends here. I mean, I could just do it like this, maybe. So I can get this thing. There we go. I have finally completed this room. Good. Out. Out of here. Need 50 for that room. One spatula to get out of the house. Oh, there's a spatula. Alright, let's see. This is golden spatula. Golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas on the cave bottom. Spatula will need to collect many golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robots. Nice. Yeah, saving game. Auto save system, man. At least I figured it out, okay? I might have been dumb, but I figured it out. I think that's it over here. Yeah, so let's leave. I feel like it's from Monty Python or something. So weird how it feels ah, slower, the bubbles. Of your own neighborhood. It's a weird ticking sound, though. Away, You're polluting my thinking space. Very sure it's from the, like, GC loader for some reason. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. Shit. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Yeah. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks. Wait till they get to the knives. Not the forks. <laughs> of course I'll help. I like how his face is all happy when he says like that. A lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. Does he actually have that many? Ha! <laughs> You've got a deal. There we go. All right, so we got a weird ticking sound now. The audio. I'm pretty sure it's a GC lower thing. I don't know if it's with all games or just this game. Try for a taxi here. You need five golden spatulas to enter there. Oh, well. Cops everywhere. Yeah, I noticed that when I reloaded the game too, that there was a weird ticking sound. Reminder. Thanks for reminding me, bruh. Alright, there's a gold spatula up there. I don't know how to get there yet. So for now I'm just gonna combo, really? Really? I know how it works, bruh. Oops. Come on. Are you really timing on all these things? Well, this one's a bit easier. I know you go on Patrick's place. And then you can go up here and there's what? Oh, it's golden underwear. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Hi! I made it. Got a golden spatula. I they gave me so much time for that actually. I'm very surprised. Because I don't have enough yet. Ha! Well, you're supposed to catch them, not kill them, SpongeBob. You love the jellyfish. Man, you could talk from such a distance, it's ridiculous. Kinda ridiculous. Uh, bullseye! Hey okay. SpongeBob! Oh, really? Bubble Buddy? Bubble hand. Hi. Bubble Buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat a giant monkey. Oh, yeah, I remember that. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. What? Whoa. Where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right. Press this button, and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out. Huh? Hold on. I didn't... don't forget to defeat robots or. Yeah, I know that. Okay, but so nothing's changed. 
the same thing. Oh, wait, I just realized something, though. Ugh, there we go. Whew, good thing I just got it. Good thing I just got it, or else I would have missed it. Just collect all these things. I can't get by there until I get uh, 15... 15 golden spatulas for this one. Here, I saw Patrick. Ten for there. I don't really have much golden spatulas. So I guess this is like the overworld map, and these are all the different levels I can go to, probably. Man, so many of these things I'm collecting everywhere. There's a sock. It's the crabs. Anyways, let's go talk hey, to Patrick. Patrick. Nice talk. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, I have one. Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a what? golden turkey base. I'm pretty sure I'll just give you a spatula. You spatula. Yeah, there you go. Bless you. <laughs> really? Well, that's you. one sock. Can I get into Patrick's place? What's in here? Well, the ticking disappeared. Nice. I think I'm playing Badger Kazooie or something. Seems like the paint sometimes. What? Oh. Really? It seems to be all that was in here. Alright. I don't see much else. Ah, blue one here. Can I even get it now? There we go. So it's good to, like, do that a little bit. Alright, that's it. Not a lot of spatulas, though. Yeah, ticking disappeared now. That's good. Really? All the enemies reform? That's nothing. Mr. Krabs? What, yeah. Bob? This flapping robot crisis is making... This is not Mr. Krabs' voice actor. Like a sinking ship. No money means no more crusty crab. No more crusty crab means no more fry cooking for you. How did they not get Mr. Krabs' voice? No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny oh, I feel like I'm gonna get most of them right now. Well, of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back. Three thousand shiny objects to trade. Are you serious, bro? Well, how am I gonna get more spatulas now? I need five for there. I need five for there. I need how many for this area? I guess none. We'll go here then. Sure, jellyfish fields. Okay, so you can go there. 3,000 of those shiny objects for Mr. Krabs. The rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw. And sometimes a bit... Wow, this place is huge. There's a spatula. Oh, hey, Squidward. Squidward! Squidward! Squidward. Jellyfish and robots. You're just asking to get electrified or stung. It laughs. Hey, his nose. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, I mean, isn't SpongeBob also technically bald? Be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King Jellyfish. Well, I guess you're off the scale, Sport Mountain. And I know they did remake this game, but I feel like playing the original. Of King Jellyfish. <laughs> a 
I'll stay here. Bald up here in excruciating Look, no one waits for the Squidward. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna rub it all over. I gotta be careful with these Tiki things. Where are the real enemies in this game, though? I don't feel like there's that many. I don't want to talk to Squidward. Squidward! Squidward! Firmly grasp it. I thought that was something. This is goo. Don't drive, Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall into goo. Hey, I can play as Patrick? Now that really play. Oh, there's the enemies. The robots. I forgot about them. This is my first time actually encountering them in a level, truthfully. I want the box. This is the teleport box. When you have both of the teleport boxes in the area op open, you may teleport between them by jumping inside. Once both boxes have been open. Oh. Uh, that's kind of... Well, it's not dumb. It's just kind of like... I get the concept. I understand the concept. Look at these dudes. Hi, right, bro. Ow, I lost undie where... That detection's kind of weird. No, oh, wait. I don't need to come like that yet. I have a feeling the jellyfish aren't that much... I was just looking. Sometimes they look like they could bring me to new areas, but I guess not. There's toilet paper everywhere, though. I know how to do it. And then you can do this! Ah! The tiki's are pretty much useless. Well, not really. They can help you get to other areas, I think. Bye, jellyfish. Oh, wait. Wait. Good thing I noticed it. Whoa! Holy shit! There was underwear up here, too. Squidward, was that your underwear up there? Nah! That's my SpongeBob invitation. I wish I could run. I know I'm running, but I want to run faster. I'm 25 for here. Uh, feed the clam. Yeah, sure. Give it monies. It's not monies. What? Oh, I finished the bridge. There you go. How am I ever going to collect 3,000 shinies? This is a checkpoint. If you are defeated after activating a checkpoint, you will restart the checkpoint. Yes, I know how checkpoints work, bro. The game's pretty simple. I mean, I could also defeat them in various other ways, like doing the whoop, feet smash, not butt smash this time. Jeez, look at all that stuff. How would I even do this without dying? Well, I'll figure it out eventually. This does follow the formula, I guess, of like, you know, old N64 collect-a-thon game. Yeah, let's get you first. Alright, what do you have to tell me, sign? This is a freezer fruit. Only Patrick can use the freezer fruit. Well, there we go. I'm not Patrick. I was pressing the wrong button. I like how they always have to tell me about the hub, the thingy. It's like, really? You think I'm that dumb? Kids are not that dumb. Kids know things. Oh well, that didn't work out like I wanted. Maybe it's best not to do that. They use so much underwear. Like <laughs> Oops. Ow. Well, whatever. Aha! Well, that's good. Oops. That didn't work out like I wanted, though. Come on! SpongeBob. I know. Do they always have to remind me of things, man? They don't trust me to remember? Do they really think kids are that dumb? Can I, can I turn that off, actually? Options. No. It's just settings. Rumble feature. Off. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, that doesn't help. Wait, do they have a save game here so I can just save anywhere I want? Yeah, they do. That's good to know. I wish, like, they really think I'm that dumb. So I'm gonna forget things that quickly. I mean, I am sometimes dumb. Look at this! Can you try out the reminders, bro? I don't want remind. Okay. All right. You're gonna give me way too much credit that I can make these jumps. Or maybe I can, I guess. Is that a spatula? See what I mean? Insta death. Insta death. I mean, it probably told me it was insta death. I just don't like it. Did I really hit him twice? 
Oh, there was another one, that's why. Uh, the jumping feels a bit awkward in this game, I'll admit that. Oh, dear God. It's a cannonball thing. Uh, or fish or spike ball, I don't know what it's called. Can I destroy it? A bunch of these things. There we go. None of that anymore. Meow. Huh? No, not the hooks. Wow, a bungee jump. I can't hear you over the waterfall, SpongeBob. That's a hook, SpongeBob. This is a bungee hook. SpongeBob can bungee from it. The bungee from the bungee hook, just jump and touch it, okay? To dive down, or press the A button. Press the bungee hook, press the B button. The what? Oh, I see. Oh, that's how you do this. Ah, oh, got it. I don't think there's anything else here. This is so weird. I think I got everything. Oh, wait, no. What about that? There's a sock I want to get, but I don't know if that's possible. I don't think it's possible. That waterfall is insanely loud. So... I could jump that. I, I probably could. But I'm pretty sure I would die. I assume I would. Hmm? More jumping. More jumping. I know it's a platformer, but... I mean, you saw how I did on those barrel things, right? Yeah, this is easier. They don't move up and down. Bye. Alright, what's up here? Checkpoint! Well, oh. Dang, Nabbit. What do you have a mallet for? Hey, he changed face, uh, facial expressions. Uh, he created... Wait, is that a ham? Is that a ham? I'm going to defeat most... There was a precedent B, right? Seriously, do you have to keep telling me? Hello, bro? Huh. Oh, SpongeBob, why did you hit me? Big robot, small robot. Damn, bro. Watch it with that ham. Is that ham, actually? Why would you have ham? Hey, bro. Ouch. Well, that didn't work out 100% well. I mean, they're generous with the underwear, so I shouldn't like don't need to complain. Sponge. Super combo. I don't even care about the tikis, really. Sometimes they're good to have around, actually. <laughs> oh, it's underwear. You know what? I'll save these guys for later. This is goo. I know! Do you have to keep reminding me? No, seriously? Do they have to keep reminding me? After every time I see goo or whatever, they're just gonna keep reminding me. I know what goo is, by the way. Boom! You went way down there. Oh my god. Dude, you're nuts. Are you crazy? I'd never be able to make that. I'm not even gonna bother. I am not even gonna bother. Ah! I walked right into that like I'm dumb dumb. That is, this is actually going to take a long Oh my god. That is shocking. It's like fighting uh, a Koopa in Super Mario World. Too bad I can't really make a, a dash for that. That you know, actually feels impossible to do. How do I get off of this thing? No matter how I think about it. I can do this and then try and... Okay, there you go. Alright, so that box is open now. Machine helping and puffing over there is the Duplication 1000. The D1000 will continue to create robots until it's destroyed. Be careful though, it goes out with a big bang. Okay then. Oh wow, that reached, bro. Ah, Woo! There's a smash up behind there. Nice. How many is that? I don't know how many I want to collect, though. 
What is this? To go to jellyfish caves. Man! Okay, this game's bigger than I thought it would be. It is. Because, like... I still got stuff to do down there. But I'm, Patrick and Sandy I'm going to need for some, right? Hey, I didn't know it was that. I assume maybe you can play with Sandy at some point. Hey, she can go to the goo. Alright, let's go to the caves then. Let's check it out. Wow! Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! Hey, Wait! Huh? What? Mail? See, oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. See, I'm not surprised about him what because I, to tell you? I forgot who uh, played his, did his and voice, Patrick but by yeah, he was a celebrity. Huh? Oh, no, I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Oh no! Massaging your feet. I feel like he would do that pretty. anyway. I think I better try a more direct approach. <laughs> Wait, hold on. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Yeah, that's disturbing. Yeah, I know. Now both boxes are open. This is a slide. When SpongeBob Patrick or Sandy jump in the slide, they will zip down the slope and hurry dirty speed. Okay! They're explaining slides to me, by the way. They really think the people are dumb playing this game. It's gonna get annoying. Here I go. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not that hard to control. Okay, it's not that hard to control. I thought it would be. Whatever. Boom! Ultra monster combo, apparently. Ultra monster combo. Checkpoint! Patrick! What the? The hell? Oh, it's one of them things. Oh my gosh, there's at least three of them. Okay, so we got a bunch of them on islands here. That means I have to make some hurry work about it. Yeah. All right, we have one up here. You die. And then, I have no idea what you activated. Or, I'm just supposed to activate all those switches and then when all three are activated, then something happens. It's not what I thought of the Spongebob music, but hey, whatever. This is a nice change of pace, I guess. So they do tend to hit themselves after the first one. So that's the kind of pattern. Wait, where's this going? Up there to another one, good. Good to know. Hey, you. I can't actually reach it. Oh, yeah, I can. I just mean a dum dum. Oh, you almost went into the goo. Ow, I got hit. Whatever, there's plenty of undies around. That's the checkpoint. That's where it is. Hey, you. Boom! Oops. Yes, there we go. There we go. Right, now I can access Patrick. This doesn't look like case to me though. I feel like a new sponge. Well, let's go see Patrick. I wonder if I recruit him at this point. Go bye bye, robot. I think that's the only one. Hey, Patrick. Hey, hey, I said that. Well, I said, hey, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robot and the. Oh, yeah, I found this for you. Nice. Spatula. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me poop. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Okay, then. Yeah. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He fell down. Well, now I'm Patrick. That's <laughs> really... That's my attack. This is a throw fruit. Patrick can pick up throw fruit and throw it. Throw fruit will push buttons to destroy tanks. Okay. Hold on, we use it quicker because throw fruits will wilt after a few seconds. 
Oh, man. I gotta hurry up. Yes, I know. Boom. Well, that's a thing. I can also pick up the four tikis. Ah, the only tikis that don't have other tikis stack on them. Okay. What? This is a bus stop. You may switch between playing SpongeBob or Patrick at the bus stop. All right, cool. Patrick can throw fruit up steps, then climb up steps to pick up fruit. Okay, I get it. I think I get it, bro. Oh, okay. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, the throwing is kind of lame. The throwing is kind of lame. Okay, there we go. Ah! There we go. Dude, there's so many instructions here. I s there's a special Patrick Teeter Tar that only Patrick Teeter that Patrick pick up throw for the Okay, I see. Okay, other side of the leg. Got it. Got it. Wow! Checkpoint. There are only certain things Patrick can do. You've got to use your people wisely. This is a thunder tiki. When Patrick touches it, it will begin to storm, and after a few seconds, it will go boom. Don't be near when it goes boom. Okay. Why Patrick only, though? That's what confuses me. Patrick can pick up a thunder tiki and throw it just like the other tiki's but he better throw it fast. What is this? Can't pick that up. Sorry, gonna blow up though. Well, they're gone already. Plank it again. You mean up here? Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. I don't even want to ask. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? She wants to be vaporized. I spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you. He seems to like to be a slave. Hey, can I pick up the rocket? Jump in the air and press the X, Patrick, blah, 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 blah. Man, they gotta tell me everything, even if it's repeating. Reminder! You can do this. Reminder! You can't pick up the rocket. I thought maybe you could. But you know what? Totally flop! I don't need them anyway. What the hell is this about? I have no idea. Uh-oh. Lava rock things. I can't pick those up. Don't even try. Those are obstacles. I mean, I thought maybe I could. Okay, we got fruit. Yes, I know. Stop reminding me. I know. Seriously. Why does that have to keep reminding me every single goddamn time? Oh yeah, I got a quick probably. There we go. Well, yeah, I had to do it quickly. So like... Okay, I have to throw it over there. Can I do that? Kind of. Maybe if I jump. Can I throw while jumping? No, you can't. Well, that didn't work at all. Ow! Jeez, I didn't think that was actually going to attack me. 
Actually, I don't even sure how to get up there. I was like, I stand on the fruit, maybe. Oh, you can. That's how you do it. Oh, that didn't work like I wanted. Oh, well. Let's continue. Oh, my God. Wait, hold on. What's this pattern here? Oh, whatever. I did it. He can't do the jumping thing, though. So shiny. I got 1,100 now. I mean, I assume... Oops. You really want me to carry that over? That's not even gonna work. I already tried it. There we go. Knock the jellyfish away. Because I understand what they want me to do, but I don't know how to do it. What is this pattern? What is this pattern even? I'm just gonna wing it here. See, I winged it. Oops, except for that one. Ouch! God damn it! This goddamn spikes. Oh, I got underwear anyway. Yes, I know. I know, bruh. Okay, come on. I want the specific one. I'll try and aim at the specific one here. It won't let me. Yes, I had it. I had it. I bet. Yes, come on. What? Whatever. I had it, though. There we go. That's what I want. Really? Can you wilt, please? Can you wilt? There it is. Ah, there we go. That's what I want to do. Super monster combo. Well, I don't know how to get that anymore. Do I throw for us at that? Okay. So basically like this. Okay, if it wilts, do I lose it? Whatever. What do you want me to do with this one? I can also jump up the throw jump on the throw fruit to get to higher places. Stack fruits? Hey, you got rid of my thing. Woo. I mean, do I have to stack it here now? How do you even stack the fruit? I don't, I, that seems like it would be hard to do. Oh, I see. It's not that hard to do, actually. Okay, now what? Get up there. Can I get it from here? Yes, I can. It's not that hard. I thought I had to have 100% pre precision. Okay, no. I gotta slide down here. Oh no, look at these dangers here. I missed the underwear. There, I got it. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, what? I gotta do a double jump there. Damn, super combo, man. How do you can pick up the freezer for the throw? The freezer for the temporary fruits goo. Ah, that makes sense. Oof, oof. <laughs> Just knocked the kid down. Patrick belly flops near robots that can damage or stun them. Small robots will simply be defeated. And stun larger ones, basically. I like that. And then, boom! Go for defeat robots. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Ow! Except don't do it like that. Well, that's not working. Not like I wanted to. Huh. Well, that didn't work. Ah, whatever. Boom. Patrick may even pick up robots he has stunned and throw them onto other robots. Ah, oh, man. Oh. 
Oh, wow, that reach is insane. Uh huh. That did not even work. Ouch, indeed. There we go. There we go. Wait! Okay, I thought I was going to die soon. There we go, spatula. I have a feeling this jump is not going to end well. Oh, I made it. Boom. Death. I think there's still so much I'm missing. When you think about it. Back to Jellyfish Lake, apparently. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. Oh my god, this level is actually so big. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. Oh. I hear that you can find him up top of old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Okay, then. Can't get over that voice. It just doesn't sound right. Oh, combo. All right, what do we got here? Oh. What the hell is that? Oh, tartar sauce. That's not good. Oh. It knows all of us. I'm going to have to be careful with the tartar sauce robot. Hey, what? Can you... Yeah, I know. That reminded me of things that. Oh, damn. I didn't know where it was going to go, even. There we go. I tartared your sauce. Ooh. Undies. And then destroy them. Mm. Well. Boom, blew up. Well. Yeah, I know I'm missing a lot of stuff, but you know, I'll just have to come back here, I guess, and do whatever. I can even do it on my own in theory, just the same time. I don't have to show everything. Get away. This is this a beach I can walk on or not? Huh! So jellyfish are dangerous. Oh, Mrs. Puff. Oh, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job. Oh, Jesus to Christ! That's just like took some speed balls or something. Oh boy! I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. Huh? If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. I should look crazy. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. She looks crazy for some reason. I know! Stop with the remind- Can I draw reminders? Okay, we got robots here, part of sauce, I can't- Oh, Jesus. There's plenty of underwear here. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here, really. Am I supposed to throw it or something? Ah, I get it. Alright. Alright, super combo. How's that super combo? There we go. It was gonna be close though. Oh, yeah. Got it. Oh. Uh, I still have to like jump to it. Are you crazy, bro? Oh, Jesus Christ, that wasn't fair. Where is it? Oh, it's right over here. Nice. Nice. 
seven spatulas, huh? Ugh. Yeah, I think I'm about ready to end this part, though. I think I got enough footage. Well done, Patrick. You're Jeez, a Mrs. Real Puff, star. I think you need to calm down right now. Did I get a cookie? No. <laughs> no cookie for you. All right, I think that's good enough for now. Let's save game. Here we slot. You. Yes. Yeah. All right. So that's it for this part. I'll see you next time. Not much else to say. So long.